Okay, tonight I'm looking at the Kitten Mittens Winter Ale by Kulshan Brewing Company. Winter ales are a variant or part of the family of old ales, um, which are darker, uh, maltier, um, traditionally English uh, from their history, um, but specifically they are spiced. Um, the spicing is usually added as part of a yeast on the top, like an ale is a top fermented, <clears throat> excuse me, top fermented, the, the yeast is, is on the top of the beer, I believe. I may be totally wrong on that. Sorry. And I don't have time, or I'm not particularly interested in looking it up. Um, <laughs> uh, other families of, or similar families would be actually related to porters. Um, so with the winter ale, you're going to expect some, some spicing, <clears throat> some cinnamon, cloves, cardamom. Those are really common in others I've had. Um, Christmas ales are a variant, are, are a, a, a subset. Um, they also, if they're less hopped, they'll lend themselves to being warmed. Warm beer, <laughs> um, which is a antithetical to American beer drinking, but yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of American beer styles, so you know, I might try warm beer. Some, I, I'm not going to say I'm not the biggest fan. I just prefer European styles in general, so the fact that Europeans are used to warming their winter ales sounds like I gotta try it. Not today, though. Um, being darker, uh, being heavier malted, they also tend to have uh, relatively high ABV, so 8 to 10 percent. This Kitten Mittens comes in at a respectable 8 percent, and um, I'm guessing this is relatively highly hot because it is a 35 IBU. Um, so let's give it a try. Here's the... Can I open this one-handed? There we are. And a pour. Nice and dark. Um, it's a nicely dark beer. Tasty looking head. Dark caramel, almost brown sugar. Sort of a ruby note through the light. Really pretty. That's a really pretty beer. Probably want to try drinking this at closer to uh, room temperature. Vanilla. Oats. It smells like a, a light sweet porter, probably. Interesting. Glassware, I don't care. Um, any glassware that has a bit of a coming together at the top, even subtly, is going to hold your flavors in, which is a good thing. Brown sugar. Some coffee. The bitterness is nicely balanced. It's a, it's not a, it's not a cloying sweetness. It's a, it's like a brown sugar, um, little bit of ma little touch of maple towards the back. Um, can says stone fruit, but I'm not getting the stone fruit that might come out as it warms. Um, but it's it's really it's not cloying. Like it's it's sweet, but it's not that you know, syrupy you know medicine sweetness. It's a really nice, clean you know, a fructose kind of clean sweetness um, that comes in this really nice, like, kind of bitter bite at the back end. And there's just kind of this lingering maple syrup. Um, I almost feel it on my breath now coming out. Um, the spice. 
Yeah, you space you taste the spice more on the back end, but this it's like warm spices, you know, what you'd put in cider. And that sort of thing. Um, so cinnamon cloves, maybe nutmeg, that sort of thing. Um, that's tasty. That's a good cold evening brew. So this has been the Kitten Mittens by Kolshen Brewing, which is a local brewing company. I mean, they have a picture of the mountain for we in the Northwest. That's that's Rainier. Um, brewed in Bellingham, Washington. Yep. And it's using a combination of UK hops and Willamette hops. That's interesting. UK Admiral and Willamette. Yeah. It's pretty tasty. I enjoy that. Good beer.